Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the marker light and the headlight in a 2002 Toyota Tacoma. The first thing that you want to do to remove the marker light is to remove a screw that is right here on the very top. Uh, this is the main screw that supports the marker, marker light and holds it in place. Once you remove that screw, this whole assembly will slide right out. Once you have the assembly loose, all you need to do is to remove this plug that contains the light and to do that you just twist it slightly and your housing will come right off. You can lay that aside and change the bulb. For the marker light just pulls straight out of the housing just like that and then the new one just pushes directly back into that uh, plug assembly. assembly back together I like to check the light itself to make sure that it's working that way you don't have to uh, take the assembly back apart once again if uh, the bulb that you buy for some reason does not work. The bulb replaced putting the marker light assembly back together is just the opposite of taking it apart. to remember that this plug has a certain orientation that it has to go back into before it will fit back into the marker light assembly. If you try to force it you could end up breaking either the housing for your marker light or damaging the plug. They should go in fairly easily. Uh, once again you do not want to force them. You can just simply get them in the correct orientation and they will go right in. Once you get that in place you want to make sure that the tabs that are located on the back of the marker light slip back into their respective holes to where it will hold the rear part of the assembly in place and also line up the screw hole and gently push the marker light assembly back into its spot. Here I'm just replacing the screw once our marker light assembly is back in place. Next we're going to be moving on to the headlight. To remove the headlight from your vehicle, the first thing that you need to do is to unplug the harness where it plugs into the back of the light. It's very easy to remove these. Now to get to this light, you can remove the battery to make it a little easier for you, but it's not very difficult just to reach in here, wiggle that plug a little bit, and it will come right out. As you can see right here, there is the plug. Once you have that removed, you need to remove this rubber grommet. These keep the moisture and everything out of the headlights, and they're fairly easy to remove as well. Just this tab right here on top, you can just pull that, and it should come right out, just like that. You don't want to lose that. You want to note the orientation of it. Of course, it is marked on the cap itself. And that is a very, very important piece as far as keeping moisture and everything else out of your headlight. Once you have that out, keep it uh, somewhere safe. Down here is a piece, it's a little spring type assembly that holds that light in. Uh, you can simply press the spring and move it over from underneath the clip, the retaining clip where it is catching. You can see that little tab on it right there that catches down there. Once you do that, you simply grab the headlight and pull it straight out of the assembly, like that. 
Remember the orientation of the light that you take out because the new one will only fit into the housing a certain way. And to put this back in, it is just the opposite of taking it out. You will simply need to place the light back into the assembly. Just be careful with it, don't break your new light. And make sure that you hold the spring over out of the way. And once you have the assembly in the, the uh, headlight into the uh, correct location in the housing, you should be able to clip the spring back in. I'm showing you this in real time, and those of you all who do much mechanic work know never it never works out as easy as you first hope. So we're going to uh, just try to get this headlight back in place. Our spring sometimes does get in the way on these, but you want to be careful. You do not want to damage that spring. And uh, you just want to uh, hold it off to one side as much as possible with the side of your hand. Once you get that in place, take your spring, push that clip back underneath the retaining tab, and we now have the headlight back in place. We are ready to put our grommet back on. Remember the orientation of how it come off. And we simply slip that grommet back over our headlight assembly. Make sure that the plug is uh, through this hole here in this grommet. Let's see, take that, slip it back in like that make sure that it fits all the way around the way that it's supposed to and then we simply reconnect the plug to the headlight like that now we're ready to test it flip around turn on the switch and we now have a working marker light and headlight try the low beam and it is working as well. That is how you change the marker light and a headlight in a 2002 Toyota Tacoma.